save cash on phones number four well hello and welcome to another save cash on phones video this one is about how to save when you have multiple lines and I'm going to use Verizon, but what I want you to do is in your mind, I want you to change the word Verizon to Sprint, to T-Mobile, to AT&T, whatever your carrier is. And I want to um, teach you a way to save if you really, really, really want to save. Okay? And this is by switching from phones to tablets. So let's say, um, for example, you've got five phones on a whole plan like with one main number and you have four additional phones on the plan okay so we're going to get rid of the phones this is what we're going to do we're going to buy four used seven inch Verizon tablets whether they're, they're made by Samsung or anybody else it doesn't matter we're going to get four seven inch used or refurbished tablets and we're not paying any more than a hundred bucks for them okay and we're going to get them whether it's Amazon um, or eBay or we're going to get them from a pawn shop whatever we're going to do we're going to acquire these tablets at a good price and we're going to make sure that they're compatible with the Verizon network whether they are locked or unlocked okay and <clears throat> once we get these tablets let's just say we spent the max a hundred dollars a piece four hundred bucks okay we're going to immediately turn around and we're going to move our phone numbers over to Google Voice so we got four lines that we're changing over to Google Voice and we're going to do it immediately okay and what we're going to do is get one email address with Gmail for each of those numbers that we have and we're going to pour them over on those accounts so we have one Gmail address two Gmail addresses Three Gmail addresses, four Gmail addresses, and one porting for one, another for another, another for another, and another for another. Okay? So this way we're going to keep the phone numbers. We're going to maintain the ability to call, text, and everything. Okay? And 99% of the apps, or better than 99% of the apps that work on the phone will also work on the tablet so that's what we're going to do all right and then we're going to go to Verizon and we're going to put those tablets on a uh, data only plan and we're going to do this the same day and the reason why we're going to do this the same day is so we don't end up without coverage without being able to have um, uh, uh, the phone service at any point all right so we do this the same day. Once we get the data only plans over, let's just say we were paying $40 a month for the um, data uh, and phone plan, like for each one, so $40 a month with the phones. And now we switch to the data only plans and now we're paying $10 a month for those. So times four with the savings of $30 per number, you're looking at $120 per month in savings. $120 a month in savings. Okay? You will still be able to do everything you can do with the phone. You will, you will be able to use maps. You will be able to use ways. You will be able to use whatever apps that you have, games, word games, whatever you have. You'll just have them on a 7-inch tablet. You'll still be able to use Bluetooth, wired headphones, speakerphone. You'll be able to hold the tablet up to your ear and talk to it. Now, all of those features will still be available. The only thing is you'll have a bigger device in your hand. So instead of holding a device in your hand like this, you're going to be holding it like that. That's basically it, okay? Obviously, if you had a small phone, you'll be able to just do things with your thumb. That'll go away because you'll two-handed like that. But whatever. Here's the deal. You'll be saving $120 a month. And that's got to be the bottom line for you in order for this to make sense, okay? So... Um, if you're if you obviously if it's not four phones you can switch to three phones that goes from 120 to 90 so 90 a month times 12 months is a thousand and eighty bucks um, if you had the four phones it's one thousand four hundred and forty bucks a year that you're saving by switching to that only plan I'm just using an example 
So you can get your exact numbers from your carrier, whether it's Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, or AT&T, but I'm just giving you some um, general numbers and to give you an idea of how it works. So this is not for people who have to have an iPhone 11 Pro or whatever. It's like, it's like, no, it's for people who are seriously focused on saving, but they still need to have their service. It's that simple. That's the way to go. That's the way to do it. Um, as I told you before, I've already moved one of my lines over to Google Voice. Dropped the whole, dropped the whole plan of uh, payment for one line. The whole thing. Um, and I have a hotspot on one phone, so then I can use that hotspot to provide the data to the old phone, and I can use Google Voice on that old phone. Now. That's a different scenario because if you got, um, you know, a line and four line, four other uh, lines, then they're probably with four other people, and so what, you, what you're going to need is for them to have the the data plan on their device. So you can't do exactly what I did for myself with my business and personal line here. Um, in such a case, but you can do that, and it will also um, um, allow for a tablet to be used in place of a phone for like children, they can do their homework and all that kind of stuff on the same device that their phone is on. See, so that, that cuts uh, the number of devices down. You see what I'm saying? And so that's a great thing. Um, obviously, if they're in school, they're gonna wanna turn that ringer off when in school, they're probably not allowed to carry their phones around in, cl in class, uh, but they're able to carry a tablet. So, you know, they're gonna have to be disciplined enough to make sure they turn that ringer off <clears throat> when they go to school. And then they just turn that ringer back on when they leave. It's pretty simple, okay? All right, um, that's about it. If you have any questions, please use the comment section below. And if you like the video, hit, the, hit that thumbs up button, hit that like button for me. It's for the YouTube algorithm. And what I'd like for you to do is share the video but more importantly, share the playlist, okay? Now, this is not gonna be the last video in this playlist. So having that link to the playlist is gonna be important for whomever you share it with. And it's important to keep up with the videos that I come out so you get more information and updates on prior information that I gave out. So in order to do that, you need to subscribe. So when you subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button down there. And when you hit the subscribe button, there's going to be a notification bell that comes up. Click that, click that notification bell, and then you want to um, click on the button that says all videos. That way, you'll be notified of every video that I make when it comes out. They'll send an alert to your Gmail, and if you are using a mobile device, that alert will pop up in your alerts, okay? And so you'll know, oh, another video came out, okay? And I can learn how to save cash on life by watching this video. So let me go ahead and watch it. All right? Okay, well, thanks for watching. Enjoy your savings. See you soon.